What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 2015 Lawn Care video and today we will be using this Xmark Bagger with the Weed Eater and we will be using this new GMC truck that I found and this is made by the same person who made the GMC Dually, it's a nice truck so uh, we'll be using this and uh... For the weed eater to work on any trailer, it has to be this one. So uh, we'll be taking this one, I guess. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we're going to be mowing a uh, commercial property, which will be a apartment building, which is going to be cool. So uh, yeah, we'll get loaded up here and start off the day. And yeah, so... Uh, I didn't really want to use this for the Xmark bagger because it kind of goes through the gate. But uh, like I said, this trailer really only works for the uh, weed eater. And I did get some requests to use it, so yeah. And it's going to be an awesome video. But uh, yeah, so you guys might see that my game looks a little different. That is because I got a mod that gets rid of the haze. And I'm trying to make my game look as nice as it could be. So I thought that that would be really cool. And it looks, the game looks amazing. And I did do a uh, snapshot at two different, uh, without the mod and with the mod. And at the same place and you could tell a difference. So uh, it's pretty cool. And I did say I was looking for new trucks, and I thought this truck would be perfect. It's a 2500 uh, Duramax GMC, so it's a pretty strong truck, and it's a diesel, which I kind of like using all diesel trucks, and yeah, which is awesome, and we're going to be arriving here shortly at the uh, apartment building where we will do some weed eating and uh, this is a big property so it might take us the whole time and uh, stay tuned for Wednesday for some more multiplayer landscaping and a lot of you really did like uh, the landscaping video which I think is amazing it's a lot of fun to uh, record it so uh, I do not need any more help and I got loads of comments asking if uh, s people could help and I don't need any more help and I'm sorry about that but uh, there's a lot of people who uh, have asked and this weed eater got stuck there for a reason so I used the X mark to push it off which is kind of cool uh oh Uh, yeah, so we go along the edge here, and uh, we'll just go around this one, not the whole thing, because uh, <laughs> this would take a while, but I think this weed eater is pretty neat, how it works and stuff, and uh, it just makes all this mowing that much more realistic that uh, we are outlining the property as you would, but it's way too big of a pass don't really know how to change that but uh, it still works fine and it's perfect for what I want to use it for and uh, this X mark though 72 inch will fly through this because it's just that amazing and uh, yeah so just gonna switch on over at the end of this because like I said I don't want to uh, do this whole property that will take the whole video so uh we'll put it over here on the side of the trailer i wish that you could put this on the weed eater rack but you can't and uh get mowing with this uh 72 inch now and yeah this truck just looks amazing like it's the perfect truck and it's a newer truck and i kind of like that so yeah i'm gonna be using that and uh you guys can see that in a lot more future videos and more videos for the lawn care because uh, 
it is, like I said, in amazing, amazing uh, truck. And uh, yeah, if I could find the original link, I will put it in the description. But uh, yeah, that was kind of tough to find one like that. So I will have to see. But uh, yeah, this 72 inch though is already almost done with this whole, <laughs> whole front section. And then we have to mow around the property and then that would be it. So uh, yeah, one more pass here and then uh, we'll be going on to the uh, other half and we'll just go in a U formation I think because that's going to be uh, efficient. Yeah, so uh, we'll just outline this and then uh, we'll just, I, I don't know, we'll lay a couple of passes up and down here. We don't have to go out like all the way over there. The, the property is definitely not that big, but uh, I would say right here is a good one for the property size. Yeah, that's a lot of mowing. So we'll mow back once and then I think that would be it for this side because uh it's a pretty big property but like I said this X mark is doing an amazing job so let me know in the comments on what you guys want me to use next in this uh, lawn care series and I really do like hearing and listening and just using the mowers that you guys request it just makes it that much more uh, fun and uh, enjoyable so uh, let me know on what you guys want me to use next and uh, what truck you want me to use and a couple of people are saying get a Dodge and I haven't really found the correct Dodge that I want yet so I won't be adding in a Dodge just yet and uh, yeah but maybe we could do something else but uh, yeah the landscaping series I thought is a pretty cool idea and a lot have, of you have liked the uh, first episode, so uh, episode 2 is going to be part 2, just that uh, I'm not going to call it part 2, so uh, stay tuned for that, and you guys will get an amazing second half of that job, and then uh, we'll be doing some more of that in the future, but uh, yeah, so this, this property here is pretty nice it does not have much obstacles and I kind of like that how it's just open it's not hilly and uh, don't have to deal with trees or anything like that so I, I like this a lot and I really do enjoy mowing in this game because of all the cool stuff you could do like make your own house to mow and stuff that's really cool and I enjoy that so uh We'll mow one more back, and then, and then we'll come over here and end this back half, and then we'll do the side, and we will load on up, and then uh, we'll call it a day. And that GMC also has an amazing interior, so uh, that's gonna be good for some first-person gameplay. And uh, yeah, so last pass going this way. And then we'll start the side property that just a couple passes I think we'll do three passes and then uh, we'll call it a day and everything will be good and you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video tree services video that's gonna be a lot of fun so uh, yeah but uh wow this is just an amazing mower and uh really really do like it but so i feel like something's wrong with my frames but it really isn't it's i don't know what but yeah so this guy looks pretty cool up on this mower and uh i was trying to uh take the stand on mower make it a 60 inch and i made the deck a 60 inch but i didn't make the cutting with a like it actually cuts 60 so I do need to fix that and if any of you know uh, how to fix the uh, 
cutting radius. I don't know exactly what you fix, but I know how to make the deck wider and stuff. I just don't know how to change the scripting so that it would do the width that I want it to. So if any of you know how to fix that, please let me know and I'll uh, be uh, glad to read any uh, thing that will kind of help me and I really do like to learn modding because it's pretty neat and I, I enjoy it a lot so we'll load this back up onto the trailer and uh, yeah so also with all these trucks I kinda like to have them to like the base model I don't like putting lift kits in anything like that I usually just keep them like how you would buy it from the factory just with maybe different wheels if I don't like the ones but I wouldn't be touching this truck at all because like I said I like them how they come out of the factory so uh yeah I'm gonna put working mirrors in this that way uh we could use them when uh backing up and stuff but yeah this is an amazing truck and it's perfect for what I want so I'm gonna see if there's a Chevy 2500 version just like this and if there is I will also get that but uh yeah we have that custom Chevy flatbed truck and uh, yeah I kinda like that truck a lot pretty nice truck so uh and the gauges on this truck work which is also pretty cool so uh yeah Duramax is perfect for what we need and I, I really do like having these diesels because I know that they will have the horsepower and everything that we need and also they are perfect for plowing because the engines are diesel and diesels pretty good for plowing just not when you start them <laughs> but uh yeah we'll take this off the trailer wow we actually got it off the trailer without it uh, getting caught like it did at the job site but I did move the craftsman mower with the sprayer in here and I moved the uh, skid steers closer that way uh, we have more room to turn around and stuff but uh, we will park everything up and we will call it a day and uh, pretty successful day oh I turned the truck off gotta turn it back on and I really do like this shop and a lot of you guys also like this shop and one of the things I like is uh, uh oh way too close to that side is the amount of room we have to do stuff don't want to take out that mirror gonna put that in there and someone asked me to move the mowers to where the trucks are like switch the trucks and it but uh I like this because it's really easy to back up to a trailer so I hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments what you thought about this and like always like comment and subscribe